Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome and let's enjoy some great music together. Okay, so what do we have for the Goonies today? We're going to do some Hoodoo Gurus. Ooh, Hoodoo yeah. Gurus. We have done quite a few of theirs so far. We've done a few for sure. At least a handful, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Really kind of enjoying their sounds in a strange way. Yeah, they're fun to listen to. A little odd and quirky, but we enjoy that. Yeah, we're good with odd and quirky. Yeah, quite sure. talented for sure. Yeah, they're really good. So this one's called Bittersweet, Bittersweet. and it was requested by 14 people. Whoa. Once was our Strathfield, SD Will 66, Sean the other one, Kevin M, Live It Up, JJJ, Sprett French, Stephen Velios, Mitchell Beston, Tim Vini, XTO8J, Grateful Zen, Catherine Hayes, and Kylie Mull. There you go. So we're going to have to get into that for sure. I would say, yeah. This is... Uh... Well, this is a group that a lot of people really seem to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, especially our, our Australian uh, contingent, as it were. Definitely. And they don't seem to be like the type to take themselves too serious or anything, too. Yeah, I think that's important in a lot of music, actually. Yeah. So uh, we should probably get into it because, you know, hey, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> so here it is. This is Hoodoo Gurus with Bittersweet. This is pretty good, huh? It's a great sound. I really love the harmonies on it, for sure. Yeah. It's oh really my well done. gosh. The, I like the guitars, just the guitars themselves. The sound yeah. the sound is nice, but I like the look of them, too. Yeah. Everything about this so far, I'm enjoying it quite a bit, actually. Mm, yeah. This is really, really well done. Yes. And it looks like, it sounds like something that would have fit in with anything in the 80s for sure. Yeah, it would have. I don't know. Like, I wish we would have heard this, honestly, this kind of stuff too, because yeah. it's really good. Yeah, I would have used it for sure. Yeah. This is fun for sure. This kind of music, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just really good stuff. Yeah, it, it, it honestly makes me feel kind of bad that I didn't pick up on a lot of these so songs and artists hoodoo gurus i'd heard of them but i never went looking for their music back yeah. when i was a dj uh and, and a number of bands and i know some australian bands that i did actually use i, I used big pig well yeah so it's just interesting that you know something like this kind of went past me 
Yeah, this is such a good song so far. And it seems to be just about like a girl that he's in love with that's not necessarily great for him. Okay. That's what it sounds like. Because he's kind of maybe a little too loyal to somebody who's not the same with him. And that's why it's bittersweet. Okay. I think. But mm. I'm not quite catching all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it has an really interesting sound for sure uh but kind of a departure from what i'm used to hearing from them to be honest. yeah and i like the fact that they have the backup vocals because his voice by itself mm -hmm. would get a little bit too monotone after a while just because not mm. monotone exactly it's just that deep bassiness needs a little bit of a backup yeah you need some color behind it yeah for sure exactly sounds great and he yeah. has a great voice but he needs that color in there yeah yeah just for like choruses and stuff you know? yeah of course uh, so let's keep going all right That's a really good song. That was really great. Yeah, I enjoyed every second of that song. Mm. You know, and I mean, I didn't, I honestly didn't think monotone, that's the wrong t term for sure for his vocal. It's just mm -hmm. that he has a deeper voice and deeper voices need yeah. a little bit of color around them. A deeper voice with limited range. Yeah, but I mean, he can do that scream thing, Yeah, you know? Yeah. In, that he did during the chorus which is nice yeah it brings out a little bit of a higher side to his voice but i think he has to use a lot of power to get there i think so i, I know, know how that feels of being a baritone myself going into the higher registers yeah. is short term for me and then i'm the opposite i usually could use your bassy backup vocal to make to balance me out because i have yeah. a higher voice yeah for sure. So. Love that guitarist. Uh, right from the first, you could see him snickering at the camera. He was yes. a nut, right? This whole band is fantastic. Though. And then during the guitar solo, of course, he does prove to be kind of a nut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this band, like we said, doesn't seem to take themselves too seriously. Yeah. They're really good and they're a lot of fun to listen to. Oh, yeah, you should have seen him at the first. He just standing there. At the, yeah. He sees the camera and he's looking at it and he starts to, sn starts to smile at it a little bit and he kind of shakes his head. And then you know, <laughs> you know, he's not going to be serious really soon. Yeah. You know? But I mean, this was a great suggestion. So thank you very much for that one. Yeah. It was definitely appreciated. Definitely. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. <laughs> it's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies so that you can participate in our little surprise that we have coming up for our subscribers. All you got to do is click that button. It doesn't cost you a thing and then you'll get the chance to participate. So yeah, yeah, it should be fun. It will be. I'm sure it's going to be great. I hope you like it. I think they will. I think a bunch of them will just go crazy for it. Mm. I really think so. Yeah, we'll see. Also, don't forget to share with your family and friends. Click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. <laughs>